Good morning and happy Sabbath. Welcome to the beginner Sabbath school class at Daughter of Zion Seventh-day Adventist Church. Our story today is entitled, Captain Naaman's Little Maid. Let's start with prayer. And this is a cute little video of some children singing the Lord's Prayer. So please bow your heads and close your eyes as we pray. Amen. Amen. Now it's time for us to sing our good morning song. <clears throat> so on the count of three, let's ring it out. One, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We say we're happy. So happy to see you today. All right, one more time. Let's ring it out on the count of three. One, two, three. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We say we're happy, so happy to see you today. And we are so happy that you're here with us today. So our memory verse is from Galatians chapter 5, verse 13, and it reads, serve each other with love. And then our message this month is that I can share God's love. So we're going to be referencing these two passages um, the entire month of August as we learn about Captain Naaman's little maid. Kiko is mother's helper. See, Kiko stirred the batter. She's listening to her mom and being a good helper. Well, our story today is about a little girl who helped Mrs. Naaman and Captain Naaman. Little maid is far from home. God has a happy helper at Captain Naaman's house. Little Maid is God's happy helper. She helps Captain Naaman because she loves God. Captain and Mrs. Naaman see how well she works. They see that Little Maid prays to God. Mrs. Naaman is sad. Don't cry, Mrs. Naaman. God will help you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Captain. 
Captain Naaman has leprosy. Mrs. Naaman just could not stop crying. He has big sores on his skin, she cried. Boo-hoo-hoo-hoo. He will have to go far away. <laughs> Don't be sad, Captain Naaman, said the little maid. Smile, Mrs. Naaman. I can help you. And so, boys and girls, our story is going to continue next week as we learn how can the little maid help Mrs. Naaman and her husband, Captain Naaman. You see, Captain Naaman has all of these sores on his body. They are white spots. And do you know why he has them on all over his body? Because he has a dreadful disease called leprosy. And so little maid prayed every day for her um for captain naaman and mrs naaman and she recited her memory verse every day and so we're gonna close out with our memory verse as a song and it's to the song to the tune of yes jesus loves me remember the words serve each other with love and that was found in Galatians 5.13, and it goes like this. Serve each other with love. 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 So boys and girls, that is probably the song that Little Maid sang to comfort Mrs. Naaman, who was so sad about her husband. And so I hope you learn it because that's the song we're going to sing all month long. Let's sing it again together. Serve each other with love. 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 Amen. So that's our story for today. I look forward to you tuning in next week to find out what happens next. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this story. Thank you for Little Maid and how she is such a help. And she can share God's love through her prayers and with her relationship with you. She can help Mrs. Naaman to be sad and hopefully help Captain Naaman. Bless our mommies and daddies. Help us to be good boys and girls. Forgive us of our sins and bring us back next week together to study more about Captain Naaman and his little maid. Amen. All right, boys and girls, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.